dishes they actually come with nasi minyak is uh, dalcha that is uh, like the soup lah huh? then they have uh, ayam masak merah it's either rendang or they will serve uh, biryani and then uh, accompanying that will be some dessert like some kuih kuih lah uh, all in, in bite size if you're talking about the nasi minyak yes Without the nasi minyak, how are you going to serve your guests? Ah yes, yes, it's like royalty lah, you know. The bride and groom is considered like the king and queen for the day. Why, why nowadays they don't really have rendang is because rendang itself has more than 13 ingredients. And it is not easy to cook. So, you know, cooking... Uh, meat itself take a long time. Yeah. They use onion, garlic, ginger, gallon gel, okay, the fried coconut, coconut milk. Uh, not needless to say, you got to use a bit of oil. Then you use turmeric. Then you have to use um, lemongrass, wakras, candle nut, a bit of uh, dried shrimp, cumin, coriander, fennel seed and a little bit of chili uh, and then on top of that there's some other accompaniments like uh, the kaffir leaf and the turmeric leaf those who can cook good rendang the authentic ones you can taste every um, ingredient in there it's not cost effective lah because too much ingredient plus cooking that is cooking uh, rendang itself it takes about three to four hours to leave everything in there. Let it slow cook. So that's why this is always served during wedding or certain occasion. Okay, if you're talking about rendang, which type is the best? It's mutton. mutton. Yeah. Wajit, right? Because it is sweet. It's made from glutinous rice. And those days, it's not easy to get glutinous rice. Okay, and um, it's expensive. And considering if you are able to have and cook glutinous rice, uh, you are well to do. Lah. The reason is because the food that you eat is very spicy. To have wajik sweet, it actually helps to neutralize your spiciness in the mouth. Lah. Okay. Another one that we also use wajik is uh, on the, you know, the dais, right? flower that is a bit funny and they have brownish color glutinous rice attached to that the reason why they use wajit is because wajit can keep long it can last you for even one month depending on how you cook so when they prepare this earlier they need they need space to keep but if they don't have fridge they don't have freezer they can't do that so the only one of the dessert that they should use is wajik lah. It's a tradition lah. Half of that bunga paha with the wajik, half of the flower and half of that wajik, they give it to the maandam. Okay, it's gratitude lah. Uh, the other half, it's actually for the family. So the family can uh, distribute to the closest people lah. The egg signifies like uh, fertility. Oh, yeah. For the aunties and uncles, normally it's to bless them, lah. You know, uh, to, to give them some prayers, encouragement, and some advice. So once you do that already, then they will give you the flower with the wajik. <laughs>